Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Back out on the river today. Got another opportunity to fish. Just dropped off a little bit at school. I was able to get here just a little bit earlier this morning. And I'm going to try some top water. But I've got something really cool I want to show you guys. <clears throat> so today, I got a package in the mail. And I want to show you these lures. It's really, really, really neat. Alright, so check this out, guys. Check these Whopper Plopper style lures out that I got in the mail. That is a sick tiger pattern that I got. And then this one here I think is going to do the best. Check out that clear with a red head. It kind of reminds you of a spook. <clears throat> Two really cool lures. Uh, I want you to see this card. These come from Coolstool. Be sure to go check them out. It's mycoolstool at sunzonetimes.com is the email if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, I've got a $5 coupon I'm going to use there. But uh, you can also look them up on Facebook at Coolstool and Instagram at Coolstool. They've got a lot of really cool products, some pretty serious looking jerk baits and swim baits. These right here caught my eye big time. It's their version of the Whopper Plopper. It's a lot lighter in weight. I can't wait to get out there and see the action. Alright guys, so I'm going to tie these on. I've got a light action rod, bait caster, and I've got my medium heavy bait caster. Uh, both of them have about six pound test line on and we're going to go out to the river and we're going to throw this whopper poppers for a little bit all right i'm going to tie these on let's get out on the water check that out guys very nice pattern on there that i really like i like that red fade into the clear it's got the spin and tail it's got some nice trebles on here they are very sharp i actually had one come out of the package and prick me but I think these are going to work well, but they're a little bit lighter than a normal Whopper Plopper. So I'm thinking that these might do pretty good. Let's go try it out. Hey guys, we're here to try out these Whopper Plopper style baits from Coolstool. They're really awesome. Back at the river, as you can see, the water's up and moving. I am hoping that this has got some fish moving around. Hopefully we've got some bass that's moved back in this area because the water was getting quite low. I'm going to be throwing this red one with the clear body first. I really like it, the way it looks, the pattern on it's awesome. Just going to readjust my bait caster. These are a little bit lighter than what I'm used to throwing. And I'm interested to see how well they work. Alright guys, let's take that first cast. Oh yeah, still cast pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that. Has an amazing action just like the normal Whopper Plopper. I feel like the tail actually spins a little bit faster. I did notice when I was holding it that the tail was a little bit more loose than what I'm used to working with. I'm gonna adjust my reel a little bit more. Set my brake down one step. I wanna cast this a little bit further and it is a little bit lighter lure. There we go. So I'm just going to make my way up and down the banks today. And I'm trying this on two different rods. This is a light action one with a, I think it's a 611 gear ratio. Then I've got a medium heavy reel, or excuse me, rod set up with a faster moving reel. I believe it's a 7 gear ratio so it's going to crank that bait just a little bit faster my first impression is it's a little bit cheaper bait than the actual sea dog whopper plopper that's a plus in my book i'll stick my code out for or i'll stick my code somewhere here in the video for you guys so you could get five dollars off your first purchase that should cover the shipping costs uh most of you know a normal Whopper Plopper's close to 20 bucks. I know most of them range from 16 to 17 dollars. Then you got shipping and handling. So I'm going to give you a five dollar off code to try. 
that should help offset the cost of the shipping. And you're going to come out ahead because these are cheaper than the normal Whopper Plopper baits. I really encourage you to visit the site. I'll put a link below. And go check out all the wonderful stuff these people make. They have some electronic lures I really want to try. Kind of picking out which ones I, I really like and singling it down to what I know should work in my area. And I'm going to go out and give it a shot. Alright guys, let's move down a little bit further so we can find some deeper holes. Man, I missed it on video guys. But <laughs> Had a big old rock bass come up and smash it. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Man, he was close to the bank, right up here next to me. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy unhooked. It's our first catch. It's a pretty nice one. Yeah, some really sharp hooks on this booger, so make sure I'm not going to hook myself. There he is. Chubby little rock bass. Or red eye, whatever you want to call it. So let him go. <laughs> well, that kind of spooked me. It was so close. Got him. <laughs> wow, look at that rock bass. He's a lot bigger. <laughs> oh, man. We ended up missing him. Well, he missed the lure and he went to the top of his little head right here. Hopefully I can, yeah, we got it out there without hurting his eye, thank goodness. <laughs> oh man, look how chunky that one is, guys. Let me get a little closer for you. <laughs> man, he smashed that right up at the bank here. He followed it for a second. I thought I saw something. Really nice rock bass. He's definitely over a pound. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, guys. These baits are definitely getting the job done. Be sure to watch through the video. I'll have a code pop up that you can use. Get $5 off your transaction. Right now, it seems like the slower retrieval is what they're loving. The last two bites, they just come right up on it and slammed it. I mean, annihilated it. I actually heard that one before I saw it. Of course, my daggone ADHD had me looking over to the left at every little thing falling out of the trees. It caught me off guard. I heard that big splash, but... <laughs> the excitement is still there. Hoping it'll stay real cloudy and shaded like right now. Hopefully I get a couple more hours out of this topwater fishing. Really love to catch a nice North Fork smallie for you guys today. That'd be awesome. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Stay down. Oh, I think it's another rock bass. A big one. Holy cow. <laughs> Check that out, guys. They are loving this one, especially this color, I'm assuming. <laughs> Look 
how big that one was. You see, he really wanted it. All right, let's see if we can unhook him and not hook us. That's the key. You can see he's got it right there in the mouth. That's on the red one. I have that on a slower action reel, guys. They're killing that slow action. Look how fat these guys are today. <laughs> Let's let him go. Just to see how big these guys are. Look at the girth on that. Got him. Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, I believe it's a big old rock bass. Yep. Another rock bass, guys. There he is. <laughs> but we got us another rock bass, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Big old rock bass. Check it out, guys. <laughs> got him here on this Whopper Plopper style bait. Nice rock bass, guys. <clears throat> Man, I love this lure. They did a very good job making their Whopper Plopper, I feel. It's definitely got a few unique differences compared to the other style Whopper Ploppers, the other companies that make them, who also do a very good job as well. But I like the fact that it's lighter than a real Whopper Plopper. It gives me an opportunity to fish smaller areas and it doesn't take quite as much of a crank to get that action going. Whereas, you know, with the larger style whopper plopper, such as the one I got tied on here, <clears throat> you are able to get a little bit further cast. But I'm having to use a heavier setup, something to handle that weight. Man, we missed him. <laughs> Come all the way up here and he grabbed it though. Crap. Let's get
get back out there. <laughs> oh man, that'll get your heart going. <laughs> Probably a rock bass, but rock bass or not, it was a strike. He got my heart pumping. I think he might have moved a little further down. There he is. <laughs> we got him. I believe that's what it is, rock bass hill. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Another decent rock bass. I'm gonna get my pliers out for this one. There we go. <laughs> As y'all guys can see, he got both treble hooks all the way in that jaw. Nice rock bass, guys. He really wanted that lure and I don't know what it is but this color has done amazing for me out here on my river neck of the woods whatever you want to call it but <sighs> definitely loving that color it's a clear body I think it's called the ghost but it's got a red head on it the fish just seem to not be able to resist it guys <sighs> we got one guys I think it's a smolly. Look at that rod bend. Sorry, I didn't have my camera on. I made one cast after adjusting my... Oh, no. Yep, smolly. This is what I was hoping for, guys. I was hoping that that water being up would have drawn some fish in. And that's exactly what it did. Ouch. Now... <laughs> We can get this feller unhooked without hooking ourselves. There we go. Get a better grip on that one. Nice river smiley. <laughs> he really wanted that one. He smacked it hard. I wish I could have got that on camera for you. <clears throat> Let's let him loose, guys. <laughs> there he goes, right back to where he was. Got one, guys. Sorry I couldn't catch the pipe. I'm having to conserve my... Oh man, check out how big that rock bass is right there. That is a nice rock bass. <clears throat> like I was saying, I, I'm having to only record the hookups. I'm down to about 30% on my GoPro. My other GoPro's dead. This takes a lot to record top water, but man, it's fun. Makes for some great views. Check out how nice that rock bass is right there. <laughs> let's let him go it's been an awesome day testing out these whopper ploppers well we got one boys <laughs> oh man it has been a very enjoyable three days I've caught fish on this bait they love it. I mean, it's just a given. The plopper tail style baits, just, they absolutely work. 
every morning I've come out here and tried top water bite for the first two or three hours and been able to catch fish left and right, different sizes. I mean, they're all just totally aggressive towards this style bait. <laughs> They love it, guys. It's just proven bait. The action, the noise, the detail. There's just something that they can't resist. And you know it's a very popular lure. It's definitely got to been thrown here before. So you would think the fish would catch on. But it doesn't seem to be the case, guys. There's just something about that topwater action that just draws that predator instinct out. These fish just feel like they have to strike. All right, we're at the next spot, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of hang down and debris. I'm really nervous about this spot, but it's one of my favorite spots. I do not want to lose another Whopper Plopper style bait. If you'll remember, I had the tiger pattern when I lost it. And kind of narrowed myself down to just about three different styles that I have now. This spot in normal. Oh. oh my god. It broke me off. Oh my god, did y'all see that? Oh no, he's got my whopper plopper. I cannot believe that. Oh my god, what just happened? Holy cow. That's not good. Oh no. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. Wow, that's really gonna mess my day up. Oh my God, that was a big fish. It had to be big. I mean, he just snapped my line clean. He's got to be around here trying to shake that whopper popper. I don't see it floating around anywhere. Wow. I cannot believe that. Oh my God. 